What's up, everybody? Dead Girl here. Before we start our show this evening with our special guest, I wanted to take a quick moment and give a huge shout out to Midnight Syndicate for allowing us to use their music, in particular the song Born of the Night off of their Born of the Night album. This song is used with permission. All of their rights are reserved, and you can get more information or pick up their albums at www.midnightsyndicate.com. Without further ado, let's get to our guest. Joining me this evening is a man who really needs no introduction, but he's going to get one anyway. He is the promoter. He's an author. He's a genuinely nice guy, Mr. Petey Mongelli. What's up? How you doing tonight, sir? All right, what's going on? How much? I want to thank you, first of all, because I know you guys are at super crunch time. The show is next week, so I appreciate you taking some time to kind of chat with us this evening. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. I, I almost canceled because we're that busy right now. So. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate you. I'm sure everybody at home watching that's kind of chiming in the chat and saying hi appreciates you. Um, we've got some questions. I figured who better to ask than the man himself. Awesome, awesome. So Let's go with it. Are, are you are you guys ready for next weekend? Are you are you close to being ready for next weekend? I know no. that's kind of a loaded question. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think we're ready at all. <laughs> are we close? No, this is like when it is like the most craziest right now. Uh, Gina, as we speak, Gina is trying to get the program done as we speak right now. It has to be in by tonight, so uh, she's working on it right now. And uh, that that's a that's a way crazy thing itself how much work goes into that program because it's like um you know it's like you're um you know putting a magazine out yeah it's you know it's got so much stuff going on in the program so um yeah so that's what we're doing right now we have to get it in tonight so hopefully it gets in and if if it doesn't we blame you (laughs) i'll take the heat for it it's fine if you need to blame someone i will volunteer as tribute to take that blame (laughs) now um this is the october show of course is always your your big daddy show it's the show that's got the most going on is there something with the show that you're looking forward to the most this year um i i I think um i'm really looking forward to friday there's a band playing on friday that i kind of like I'm kind of excited about that. It's all kind of new to us. It's um, oh, what, what is it? It's like, you know, like they, they're gonna play like classic, uh, monster music and stuff. So. Oh, kind of... hold on, wait. I think that's um, Johnny Wild and the Delights. Is that yeah. who it is? The they're like a sock hop type band. Sock hop. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Halloween sock hop. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm also looking forward to um. Uh, meeting the guy that uh, did the Eddie, uh, that created Eddie from Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. He's going to be cool to talk to. I'm excited to meet him as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about that and, you know, maybe get an autograph from him. Um, you know, all you Funko Pop people, you know, they just came out with all those Iron Maiden Funko Pops. Getting him to autograph it would be, like, crazy. Ah, oh, that'd be cool. Um, and, uh, I, I mean, am I looking for? I'm looking forward to Saturday night. You know, all the stuff going on. I'm going to be DJing Saturday night, too. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, I got a little surprise for everybody that night. So hopefully I'm excited when I DJ. (laughs) What time are you DJing? Uh, I believe it's uh, 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. We will be there with bells on, I'm sure. We'll be down there anyway. We do like an hour set on 11, like, you know, 11 to 12. And then we go until 2 o'clock in the morning, so. Nice. That's awesome. It's going to it's going to be a long but amazing weekend, especially oh, with all the bands and then you're DJing, so that's always a fun time. Yeah. The, I mean the VIP party, I'm looking forward to the VIP party, you know, Cocktails and Screams is uh sponsoring it and I always look forward to the cake, you know. <sighs> the ass. Cake's like over the top, you know. I and mean, that... there's so much great, you know, stuff. And the cake's being done by the Woolers, right? They do them like Yeah all the October shows. I'm excited for their cake. Their cakes are delicious and they're amazing to look at. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the artwork that goes into them are just, you know, um, is just really great. You know, it's unreal. I wish I had that much talent in like my little toe. I'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of the VIP party, VIP has sold out. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I know you guys yeah. still have like your day tickets available as well though. Correct. 
Yeah, we still have uh, day tickets. Um, you know, and uh, like uh, weekend. I, I always suggest a weekend pass because you're not going to get everything in on one day. Yeah. Um, there's so much stuff on it. And if, if you're looking to meet Robert England, you need to get there early. And because, uh, I mean, that's going to take up some time if you don't have VIP or a fast pass. You know? yeah. Now, the fast passes, those are still available, correct? Yeah, very few left. Okay. I, I'm, I'm talking about very few left, like maybe 10. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. if you're thinking about getting a fast pass, you may want to do that now before they do sell out because those I'm sure are going to be gone as well. Yeah. Yeah. This is like when everything starts selling out, it's like crunch time. We're selling like everything right now. So yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing. It's a good, not problem, yeah. but it's a good thing to have going yeah. on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Now, um, so let's see. The other question I wanted to ask you guys was, are you also doing ticket sales at the door? Or are you strictly sticking to online sales only? Um, we are selling tickets at the door. Um, it's, it's always cheaper to buy it in advance. Um, but um, yeah, we are selling tickets at the door, but I think we're going to be selling them online all the way until we open on Friday. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So, yeah. So you could get tickets, you know, all the way until then, you know. And they're like, what, 5 to $10 cheaper or something like that if you do buy them online prior to the show open? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, you guys also have a hotel room block that's available. Are those are the rooms still available? Can people still book their hotel yeah. room? I mean, we're, we're trying to sell out the entire hotel, so it's a completely spooky empire. And uh, we do have rooms left. Mm -hmm. So definitely get your room and, you know, like, it's also just cool to be there all night and you get to watch spooky TV in the rooms, which is like so amazing. And then, um, you know, it's good not to drink and drive, you know, and we want you to party and we want you to drink and we're going to have a special drink, uh, this, this weekend where you get a special spooky empire cup. I know if people are collecting them, we have a different color. Um, uh, we've done purple, we've done red. I think this year's is black. Nice. Uh, it's a certain drink you have to drink to get the cup so oh, okay. um, it's, it's, cool. it, it's a cool uh feature and it's fun you know to collect them all that, now the hotel rooms are 154 a night there is no yeah. resort fee that was waived and i believe if you're staying on property um parking is also ten dollars a vehicle yeah, yeah. Um, and that's it's also better to do that so if you get a room you just park your car you, it's kind of like you know stress-free exactly yeah. you don't have to go anywhere you just stay and yeah. hang out and then um also it's a perk if you're staying the pub orlando that's hosting the zombie walk on friday if you go in there with your room key they give you a discount on food oh that's awesome yeah. yes and and then also um you know, there's plenty of parking on international drive so like um if you're not staying at the hotel there's plenty of parking all over you know international drive just go straight down there's tons of it and you know some is cheap and I mean, if you want to walk or take, a, you know, the bus from the parking, there's free parking way by where the Wyndham is. Yeah, you, know? you could park down there the and eye, take, like, the trolley. The eye is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's free parking over there, so. Yeah. So keep your keep your eyes out, like, if you don't want to park at the hotel, because it's, like, 27 bucks a day if you're not a guest and you're not under your spooky empire rate. It's a little steep. So, like PD said, there's other parking on I Drive. Take the trolley. It's cheaper. You can kind of go back and forth that way. Um, now, hopefully, hopefully they have parking, like, for the convention center next door. You know, like, you, there's usually um, parking over there. Like, by in between the Hyatt and the convention center, there's parking over there. Okay. Um, usually independent. I don't know if it's going to be open the weekend of our show. Uh, they didn't tell us that. So, okay. Yeah. So maybe, so maybe you surprise it'll be open and then there's even a little bit closer parking. Yeah. So. And then a Point Orlando, I believe, is $10 to park for the day. So that's also oh, a that's cheaper good. option, too, for yeah. you guys. And that's right That's right next to the Hyatt Regency and also yeah. where all the restaurants are. Yes, so. and those restaurants are amazing, too. I love all the food and all the restaurants in there. We've eaten there Absolutely. a few times. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you guys happy to be back at the Hyatt Regency? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's my favorite hotel to um, hold the convention. Um, I love, I love the hallway. Um, it's my favorite part of the hotel. I love the hallway. We put that big stage there and the bands get to play and there's, we can put our cars in the hallway. We can, uh, there's all kinds of vendors. We have our kids zone in the hallway. Like that hallway is just such an amazing part of putting the convention together. 
and it, it, it makes it so uh, unique to compared to other um, conventions out there. Yeah, and it's definitely, there's plenty of room to spread out, so you don't really have to worry about being on top of each other, which is the nice thing Absolutely. about the Hyatt, too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, there's so much room there, you don't have to be on top of each other. And, uh, you know, respect the other people, too. Don't get on top. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want them. <laughs> That's on you, just saying. That's on you. You know, um, there's a couple of questions filled in, in the, from the chat real quick. Uh, someone's asking, are we able to pick up tickets on Thursday? So VIP are the only ones able to pick oh, up their yeah, tickets on Thursday. VIP. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the one of the features of uh, being VIP. You get to pick up your goodie bag, which is going to be awesome this year. There's a lot of good stuff that's going in there. Nice. And, um, and, and also you get that cool, unique T-shirt that we do just for the VIP people. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, yeah, it's, that's a feature for the VIP people on Thursday. That's awesome, um, which is exciting. I'm excited for VIP because we have we're going VIP this year. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very very excited. Um, got another question coming in. Are you guys is the wrestling coming back this year? I didn't hear or see anything about it, and I know you guys have done that in the past. Yeah, um, not this year. Okay. Um, I would love to bring that back. Um, it just didn't work out. I, someone did reach out to us, um, and then it just never, you know, never worked it, out. That it never worked out. Like sometimes that happens. Like people reach out and then they disappear. <laughs> we get posted. I never heard back from them. Never got any quotes or anything on how much it was going to cost or anything like that. But okay. uh, love to love to bring that back. That was a wrestling. Awesome. I know it's usually a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fun little thing to have when you can go in and like check out some costumed wrestlers. That's always a fun time. Yeah. I, I, I think we've done it the last three years. Yeah. Three years or two years. At least two years. But I think it's been three years we had it. Yeah. It's, it's always fun. We kind of we sneak in and watch some wrestling and usually have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I've got – I have this question. This question I know everybody's been asking and nothing's really been made as far as like an official announcement that I saw. Um, so maybe I missed it, but I have a lot of people curious, and we're curious as well. Are you guys requiring masks while staying at the hotel or on the convention floor? Um, we we are going to be making an announcement. Hopefully, we're going to be making an announcement. Uh, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're highly recommending you guys wear masks, but it's not going to be required. Okay. Yes. That's fair. So, um, you know, and, and we're hoping you're all vaccinated and everything like that. We're all grown adults, and uh, hopefully you do the right thing, you know? Absolutely. And I know, like, I was kind of – I was I checked the Hyatt website, and they're recommending – same thing. You know, if you're not vaccinated, wear a mask. If you're vaccinated, yeah. optional type thing. Um, so, you know, that's – I think yeah. a lot of people are going to be okay with that. Yeah. I mean, um, we – the last two shows we um, – we had mask only. Yep. Uh, there were, you, you couldn't, like, we were really, really strict on it. Uh, but even, like, it's just hard to, like, and that was only in the convention space. At the pool, because everybody's drinking, a lot of people took off the masks and stuff like that. Yeah. Here at the Hyatt Regency, we're partying with everybody in the hotel. So it's hard to have mandatory masks all the time, you know? Yeah, especially also, if you're drinking. This is something, we're, we're all grown adults. We need to, like, you know do what we're supposed to be doing you know absolutely and i'm glad you kind of mentioned the after parties and drinking i know some people are talking about like the pool and i don't think a lot of people realize where the actual after party is going to be at the Hyatt regency for those that may not have attended a prior convention there yeah it's it's right in the hallway it's um you know it's right in the hallway we have the bands playing it's great because it's air conditioned there's carpet on the floor and there's bars set up so um fun it's fun time man it it also brings a different atmosphere than the pool like we'll keep our things separately we'll keep the you know the other show at the you know the Wyndham show is the pool party this shows the more of a rock and roll bands playing and djs playing and stuff like that so and i mean down there you can really go for like until super late because it's not really near any of the rooms absolutely like we say two o'clock but if the party's still going, we're allowed to keep going because nice. the noise is, we can make as much noise as we want there. Where you're limited when you're at the Wyndham, you've got to stop at a certain time because of noise, you yeah. know? See, but, that's but awesome. At the Regency, we can, I mean, literally, if people still want to keep partying, we can party all night. That's, that's good to know, and that's very exciting for 
those folks who are out there partying and having a good time because I know it's it's it kind of sucks when they come and they tell you to shut it down and you're like right at the height of it. So it's nice that you know the Hyatt's got that that middle area. Realize that Spooky Empire really doesn't start going until about ten eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> start partying. Absolutely, because that by that point everything's kind of shut down as far as like the yeah. vendors go and some of the other things. So we you know the vendors can come out and they can party along with everybody else Absolutely. too. Um, we do have our bands going on earlier. Just okay. because we want to get the mood going first. Nice. Um, so we, we put the bands earlier. So like when the bands are over, then we could just relax and drink and hang out and just listen to, you know, great DJs, you know, you know, I'm one of them. I was going to say like you, like me. <laughs> Now I've got I've got a couple of other questions that kind of pertain to the convention floor area, um, and I know previously there were it was not a thing. So just to your knowledge, are they allowing? And by they I mean like the hotel and security allowing attendees or vendors to bring in outside food or drinks into the convention floor? Okay, so I don't think they ever allow it. Okay, I don't think any hotel ever allows it. Uh, I always tell people to be smarter than the average bear. Got to be slick. So you just just be careful. Be you know. Now I'm going to tell you that you know they haven't been honest at all about things like that, and I know they're not selling actual food in the convention part of it. Okay. Now they have that that um, 24 hour deli is it or i mean yeah it's some um, it's yeah it's almost like a little deli so area set up with like prepackaged foods and drinks and snacks yeah. and things so like that. that for 24 hours so i'm imagine like people go oh i'm bringing that in you know what i'm saying so i mm -hmm. i i believe they really can't really kind of stop us you just you have to eat oh absolutely and if they don't provide a place to buy it then we have to you know get creative yeah, so, but I, I know for a fact that they don't want, please don't bring a cooler <laughs> down there, unless you're going to like you know, disguise it or put it as part of your costume or something like that. Don't come down wheeling a cooler. Don't, yeah. you know, like be a little smarter, know, be creative. <laughs> We're, Spook Camper is filled with creative people. Be creative. Absolutely, absolutely. So you did mention that they're going to have bars set up. So I'm assuming towards yes. the nighttime, once it gets a little bit later and the after party starts, they'll set up bars down there so that you can purchase, you know, your alcoholic beverages and that. I, I think we're going to have them all day. I oh, think we're okay. Going to have bars there all day and all night. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. That's so. always a plus. So you can drink when you get there, you know, and just chill. And but you know, don't get too drunk before the nighttime because that's when all the best part of the show is and you don't I want to be that guy passed out in the corner either <laughs> yeah I, I think um what makes our show better than everybody else's is because you know we party all night and like most shows don't do that you know yeah we we don't sleep <laughs> we don't sleep that weekend man that's why we have freddy krueger coming to the show man absolutely yeah i got now are you still going with your uh, pd pumpkin ed dj name yeah that's my name <laughs> I might bring my funky monkey man with me. I don't know. We'll see. Do it. Surprises are happening all weekend long. You never know. Never know. The funky monkey could show up. <laughs> now, that actually is going to bring me into my next series of questions as far as, like, the celebrities go. I know a lot of folks are super excited for, like, Robert England as well as everybody else that's coming you guys have some great names coming to the show um do you know or do you have any ideas of which celebrities are going to be doing photos um professional photo ops like masked or unmasked or are you guys just kind of let them figure it out for themselves i'm assuming um, it's up to I, the celebrity yeah I, I think it's up to the celebrities i, I think we're pretty good I, I think everybody's gonna do regular photo ops uh, professional photo ops i i don't imagine uh the only one i was a little bit worried about was kathy mcjimmy but uh, we're still up in the air if she's even coming yet. Um, yeah. We'll probably know more Monday. Okay. Because uh, uh, the union strike, the IOTC union strike, um, we'll find out. I mean, she's right now she's filming Hocus Pocus 2, and uh, she's under contract with Disney, and Disney might not want her to come. Okay. So um, when she was booked, um, when we originally booked her, she wasn't. they weren't supposed to start filming until – 
the following week after our show. Oh, okay. So, but now it was pushed, and it could have been because of like what was going on with the union and stuff like that that they tried to get some stuff in. Gotcha. Um, so that was that, and then we're still waiting on Freddie Prince Jr. to see if he's um, okay to still come. But we we just announced a guest today. I saw. And, and I have three people still waiting to see if they're saying yes or no. Oh three, wow. Three, three really great guests um we don't know if they're gonna be yes or no you know we're just waiting on it um i'm giving them until like you know pretty much this weekend to let us know if they're coming or not and then that's it you're cutting them off then that's it (laughs) we'll we'll talk about the next show and i don't know if you want me to bring up the next show right now not yet we're gonna save that for the end we're gonna save our special announcement for that for the end of the show we're gonna make you guys suffer through this not suffer but you know kind of sit and hang out with us um now the photo ops are you guys i know in the past you've done most some of them that have been in the same room some of them have been in rooms next to each other do you know if they're going to have like two rooms for the photo ops or if it's just going to be the one yeah it's it's one room okay i I think everything's in one room scheduled you know um i i think it should go pretty smoothly this year we don't have as you know a massive amount of guests to get in there and out you know yeah I mean, you've um, got some great ones, though, that are going to yeah, be pretty Robert busy. Inland's, you know, of course, Robert England's is going to be the biggest one. I mean. It's it, Robert it's England. Crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, speaking of Robert England, I had a couple of people ask me this, and I, I don't have the answer, so I'm coming to you on this one. Um, they were asking why there's not a photo op with all the ladies from Nightmare on Elm Street and Robert England together. All right. Do you want me to tell you the truth? It's up to, is it going to get you in trouble? I hope not. <laughs> it's, it would have been so expensive that people would have, it would, people would have been screaming. It was that expensive to do it all. Gotcha. Because uh, Robert got more money. I don't even, I shouldn't even, maybe. Don't say even, it. Let's just put it this way. It would have been too much for your average fan to want to pay for that photo op yeah, as I mean, opposed to sold a couple the of them but like we'd rather him sign more autographs than do a photo op that probably you know he would have had to get your car payment or house mortgage <laughs> the second mortgage on the house to get it done yeah so uh, that's, that's understandable um Let's see here. I've got a couple of other questions chiming in from the chat. Uh, how is the Hyatt compared to the Wyndham when it comes to props? So, for example, would it be okay for someone to bring in, like, their Freddy glove that has the metal blades to be signed, or would they have, like, an issue with that? So, I'm, of course, everybody has an issue with everything. So, <laughs> um, you have to just be smarter than the average bear. I have to just keep saying that to you, you know, like, you know, be careful when you bring it in. Hide it. Put it in a bag. I'm, I'm hoping the hide doesn't see all this stuff right now. But, um, put yeah. plastic tips on them even so that they're Just not do whatever sharp. Whatever you have to do so we don't have to say no. Gotcha. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let you know that Freddie, I mean, uh, Rob, Robert's um, photo op is going to have a real glove. Oh, that's cool. So just to give you a heads up that that's, so it's possible to get it in that's pretty awesome though yeah now you've also got along with you know all the photo ops going on we kind of talked about the after party and some of the bands and i kind of wanted to circle back to that real quickly uh just to remind people because some people tend to forget or may not realize you know if they want to come and enjoy like the live performances by like the bands or demos or anything uh they still need admission into the event itself correct yeah it's part it's part of the event yeah everything's part of the event like people always go oh but i only want to do this yeah but it's part of the event you know yeah i mean it's you know it's part of the show you got to have a ticket to enjoy all of the fun benefits of attending the show i want to mention i want to mention this while you just said that um if you go um if you check out our schedule you can download the schedule onto your phone and it's an app and you can yeah. actually uh, alert yourself when certain things so you don't miss them. So if there's a certain okay. band you want to see, like the, that Iron Maiden tribute band is going to be awesome or, the, you know, the Sock Hop or um, like werewolves, you know, werewolves or whatever, uh, you know, the Blade Jug Band. Yes. I mean, they're playing awesome band, you know, um, actually 
I mean, all the bands that are playing are just amazing. And uh, we also have the violin player that's coming back. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Like, she's like overly amazing. Overly she amazing. She is. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on on that, that stage in the hallway. And uh, you can go on our schedule. It'll be all updated by uh, the Thursday before our show. So little by little, you could keep checking in and you could put on your phone that you want to go to this and they'll give you an alert, you know? So you don't okay. forget anything because there's so much going on, you know? Oh, no, total. Well, that's a, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about. Like, you guys have packed this weekend chock full yeah. of some amazing things going on from, yeah. you know, you had the tattoo convention within it. You have the kids zone, the car show. You've got yeah. panels. You've got effects classes and demos and zombie walks. And what have you, like, really – do you are you trying to give people like anxiety trying to fit in all the things that they're gonna want to do? It, it's crazy. Our, our October show just has so much stuff, and uh, I I feel like some of our other shows had maybe more. You know, uh, I think COVID might have even stopped us from doing a lot of stuff that we usually do. Yeah. Um, but I I, th- I think. Um, it's kind of weird because I think people are paying attention more now. I don't know why they're paying attention more now than they have in the past. Yeah. Uh, we, we've done some incredible stuff in years past. And uh, if, you, if you always look at your program, uh, your old programs, and look at all the stuff you probably missed. Let me tell you, I have like – Every program since I've been coming to Spooky from 2004. So that's a hot minute. And there's so much stuff in the program that after the fact, I look at it and I'm like, how did I miss this? Yeah. Why did I not get to do this? I mean, you've also got the film festival happening and the author's yeah. panel. Like, yeah, oh, this, so this year's much. This film festival is like amazing. Yes. Ama- like every, everything, everything we have going on this year is like really amazing. Like over the top, like all those little things that you kind of always like don't see because all you're focusing on is the celebrity guest absolutely um, and they're, you know right from i mean it starts off with the zombie walk man the zombie walk's like incredible man if, yes. if you, you could just go on youtube and look it up i mean that thing is like awesome man you're it's... like full-on zombies walking down the street <laughs> and that's see all the normal people looking at you it's crazy and it's so much fun too to just kind of, it's like that little pre-party or you know where everybody can kind of gather get something to eat get something to drink come in costume bring your kids if you don't have makeup you know there's artists out there that'll do makeup for a fee for you guys and then everybody just kind of like shambles down i drive and just kind of invades the event if you will which is it, i think it's like such a fun way to kick off spooky no abso- absolutely and then you know and then you come in and you're like the wow factor as soon as you walk in, especially the higher agency, just the wow factor when you walk in, you're like, oh my God, look at this. You know, it's like overwhelming how like much stuff. And like this year, our, our vendor room, like we got some amazing vendors this year. And uh, I, I know like Coffee Shop of Horror is coming back. They yep. haven't been to our last couple of shows because of COVID and stuff, but yeah. they're coming back. And like, there's so many great, you know, vendors, including Spooky Empire's booth. <laughs> Listen, I'm sick of your booth, all right? Because half of my money goes to your booth every time we come to the show. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite things at our show is our our merch booth. We have just such incredible stuff. And, you know, I mean, I, I thank uh, one of my good friends, um, you know, Andrew, who has done so much artwork for us over the years, just made our show just look so great. The shirts Uh, alone are amazing, and they're always different for each show. So it's like you have to collect them all if you're going to the shows. You want to have a show, like a shirt from each show that year. Oh, absolutely. And people collect that stuff, man. People have been collecting Spooky Empire stuff for years. And uh, and, I mean, if if you go on eBay, you see people, you know, selling the stuff and everything like that. You could buy past stuff and. They even sell past programs on eBay, which I I was kind of curious one day after you had said that to me to, you know yeah. last time we talked and i looked it up and sure enough there's like programs and shirts and all kinds of like just random yeah. stuff if you ever miss something you could always you know <laughs> look for it check and ebay I, I i guarantee you if you go in orlando and go to uh you know like the thrift stores you definitely could find t-shirts because we've had like you know every show i think at least o- over a thousand shirts at every show wow go out. yeah 
Yeah, I know we get them. We get shirts every show because there's always the new design, and then the new design always blows the next design out of the water. So it's yeah. just like when you think you've got the best shirt, then you guys come out with another shirt that's even more amazing. I don't know if we could ever top the last shirt we had at the Wyndham with the, <gasps> the with the Frankenstein coming out of the it grave. It was cool. Back, the lightning going through Disney World and uh, Epcot yeah. Center. That that shirt is probably one of my absolute favorite shirts. It's such a cool design, and there's so many little hidden things in that shirt. You have Absolutely. to really look at it to like see yeah. everything. Yeah, it's really cool. Now, you guys have also come out, and you've done this before. You've done an exclusive tiki mug, and then you have also have an exclusive pen. So just to kind of show the folks, um, this is on sale on the website, SpookyUmpride.com. Go into the tickets section. That's where you can purchase these. But that tiki mug, like I bought it within two minutes of you guys announcing it. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's almost sold out. Really? Yeah, it's almost sold out. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool. I love the straws. The little antennas? Yeah. Yeah. So I got to ask, and this has been kind of like in the back of my head, and, and I'm a fan of Halloween 3, but what made, the, what made you guys go with the decision of doing a Halloween-themed tiki mug? Just coming up with, like, trying to, you know, do something different and stuff like that. And um, it's just an iconic movie. And the TV set was just so iconic um, that we were just like, you know, that's cool. We're also putting out a, a exclusive posters, which have, oh. you, you could buy one each day. So every day we're going to release another silkscreen poster that's going to have each each of the, the kids' masks. So Do you see gonna, my face right now? Again, yeah. with giving you all of my money. So <laughs> we have we have that silk screen poster, um, and uh, which which comes in three parts, which makes one big poster <gasps> at the very end. What? And then um, and then the other silk screen poster we have is a hocus pocus poster, which <sighs> is awesome. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So are you guys going to post each day like what the poster is going to be yeah. while the event's we'll going on? Yeah, poster, which you could buy that day. I, I think we're going to sell them for $30 each, each poster each day. Nice. You know? So, and then when you put it together, and then if you put, um, if you turn off the lights and put a, a black light on it, it, it comes out and says Halloween 3 across the, the... Oh, that's awesome. So it's all black light reactive too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. That, that's cool. We got some other exclusive. We also, um, oh, in the VIP bag, um, the exclusive poster that comes in the uh, VIP bag is the Freddy Krueger poster that goes with the set of the other posters that we've had in the past. So it all, so it, it's a complete uh, poster with all four of them. It's a puzzle that all four of them put together equals one poster. And this, this is the last one of the four that has the Freddy Krueger. I didn't even know that was a thing. That is really awesome. Yeah. So VIP, it seems. You get all the, like, not all, but you get some, like, super rad exclusives there. Oh, oh yeah. And then at the VIP party, we have the, the auction where you get five tickets with your uh, VIP bag. You get five tickets, which you can put in, uh, you know, like, each thing we have auctions and we have like posters autographed by all the celebrities at the show. We also oh, have a wow. guitar autographed by everybody at the show. Um, plus a whole bunch of other cool stuff, you know, some artwork. And uh, I usually make a basket of my favorite uh, beer and stuff like that, that I, nice. you know, I usually put some trooper beer in a, in a basket <laughs> and put some uh, spooky and bright cups in there and stuff. That's so. awesome. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I got a couple of questions from the chat. Somebody's asking if there's anything around to fill up the tiki mug with. So, um, you guys don't have like an actual beverage vendor, but there's going to be like bars provided by the, um, by the Hyatt there where you could theoretically yeah. dump those drinks into your tiki mug. You can do that or be smarter than the average band. <laughs> Go back to your room, get some, I know the, the hotel has ice, fill it up with ice, get some rum. Um, I'm very happy with Sammy Hagar's new uh, rum. I don't know oh, if you've tasted it yet. I have not. Uh, Sammy Hagar and uh, Rick Springfield have partnered up and uh, has this incredible rum. Uh, mm. If you get that, uh, put that in their drink. And... 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's that's good to know. I should I should have a recipe. If I didn't, have, I should have a recipe. But maybe I'll start making drinks for each of our tiki mugs, and I'll post them online. Ah, mm -hmm. that'd be fun. Do like a specialty cocktail that goes with each mug. With that actual mug. Yeah. That see. I know I, I was creating something for the zombo. You know, because we had the zombo mug. Yes. Creating a drink for the zombo. Uh, the, the Bill Heinzman zombie mug. I mean, that I could do a you know, a zombie probably. Something know. with like some green liqueur in it or something. Yeah, maybe. For for the dead flesh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. See now, there's your project. Now you know, like that you need anything yeah. else to do, but eventually you go back and do like little specialty cocktails for each of the tiki yeah. mugs. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. The devil, devil mug was awesome. The last. Last show at the Devil Mugs. You know? Yes, it was. Those were really cool. Did you sell a lot of those ones also? You guys tend to sell a lot of all yeah. those tiki mugs. Yeah, I, I don't think we finished. Like, we we said there was 100 made, but I think we only sold, like, X amount of them. So I think we still have some left that we didn't actually make yet. Okay. You know? so they, uh, they might pop up at a show. So if you see them, it was the leftover ones we didn't get to sell because we didn't have time to make them. Ah, so snag them if you can is what you're saying. That's what I'm hearing anyway. Yeah. And they, that's another thing. You go on eBay, those things go up in value so quick, you know. I saw the Zombo Tiki mug up on eBay a little while back, and I was like, okay. I mean, it's a cool mug. I'm surprised somebody is farting with it. I know I said that. Oh, Gina's yelling at me about the specialty drink that we have. We do it. I told you. I already said that. That we had a special drink that you get the plastic squeaky MR. Yes. Yeah. Were you not supposed to say that? No, I was supposed okay. to say it. But I, did say it. <laughs> I thought I said it already. You did. You mentioned that you guys are going to have a specialty drink that's going to come in a special spooky empire cup, but they have to order that special drink. Yes, to get that mug. Now, how would we know when that's? How do we know what that special drink is, though? Um. Well, we'll probably announce it before the show. Nice. Yeah. I I think Red Bull's. I think Red Bull's one of the sponsors of the cup. So. Oh, awesome! So make sure so that you're probably, following Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, well, hopefully. I mean, we're we're swamped right now, so I don't know how much stuff we can announce, but it's all gonna happen at the show. <laughs> that that's another thing. Like people were like, "Oh, you never did this. You never did this." And I was like, "Yeah, we did. We just never really got around to advertising." Well, that and that's you know that's the thing too is like in the past like you guys have had like Rocky Horror and Burlesque Grooms and like Escape yeah. Games and all kinds of different things, but yeah. like and it's all in the programs and you guys have done this stuff before, but you just you run out of time to announce all these amazing things that you yeah, have I mean, going it's so on. Yeah, because there's so much going on. Like I mean, we we people are like, oh, you're doing Escape Rooms now. Yeah, we've done it for years. Yep. Same guy, the same guys doing it that did it before. Yep. You know, and uh, they're like, oh, you didn't do a haunted house. Yeah, we did. And we also did a tribute to the haunted mansion. And we did this. Yes. You and know? you had Transworld partnering at one point, yeah, And you had the Halloween Extreme thing going on, which was yeah. awesome. And they did a, they did a little haunted house in, in, yep. uh, in their uh, thing with the Halloween Extreme. Yep. Right? I remember that. That was a fun show. It was a lot of really yeah. cool stuff and props I think, I think and things. A, I think we did it two years in a row. I think so. I don't remember. You would know better than me. <laughs> to be honest with you, you guys would know better than me. Sometimes. I I don't get to. Sometimes it goes one, you know, over my head. Sometimes. Well, I mean, you guys between planning, you know, having the current show happening, planning future shows, doing, you know, dealing with everything else. I mean, I'm I'm surprised yeah. your head's not spinning and you're not like yeah. full on gray haired at this point. <laughs> and it's like you know, and me and Gina are like it all together and stuff and we had kim here one of our Hi. employees here last weekend helping us out big time uh but uh if anybody lives in south florida that knows how to do graphic designs we're ready to hire you okay <laughs> you have to be in south florida and you have to be able to come over <laughs> and work at us in our office in our house <laughs> you want to do you want to throw an email out there for somebody that might be interested in that yeah, just go to our website and just send us an email if you're live in South Florida and you're really good at graphic designs and you, you know what, you know, we're asking for Look at all our graphics that we have. You know, we need something to do with social media, the, you know, just all the graphics because, you know, you know, Gina's Gina does all of ours and it just gets overwhelming. You know, the oh, show's true. getting so big that we could totally need some help. So if you're willing, you know, we'd love to hire you. <laughs> Spookyempire.com. 
look for yeah. that contact information and drop them a line. Yeah. Absolutely. Dude, you guys, I don't, I still don't know how you, you guys gotta be run good. that show. You gotta be good. Don't, don't, <laughs> you know, like, you gotta be halfway decent, man, because, like, you know, our fans expect the best, you know? Well, that's because you've spoiled your fans over the years and you've given them some amazing things. So, of course, you know, as a fan, we all expect those awesome things from Spooky. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you were going, let's pretend, let's suspend disbelief for a moment. If you were not, you know, running spooky, and if you were going as just an attendee, would you try to plan your day, or would you just kind of show up and go with the flow? I'm a guy that would go with the flow, but that's not the smart way to go. <laughs> um, I, I would plan, like, I recommend you plan it all out so you don't miss things. Yeah. I miss so much. Like I, I go to like I used to go to San Diego Comic Con and I would just wing it and I would miss so much. You know, yeah. like San Diego Comic Con had so much stuff going on and we would just go and wing it and like I'd be oh I missed that oh I missed that. Yeah. You know, and I think what Spooky Ember offers is so much. Like some of the Q and A's are just over the top. I mean, yes. um, uh, the the production just alone for one of our Q and A's is just like, you know, it's like a rock concert, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Top, top light in the sound, the video, you know, it's not rinky dink, man. So like we, you know, and that's what you're paying for when you buy a mission ticket and they're like, well, why is it so expensive? Well, because we're giving you the best quality, you know? And, you know. Absolutely. Well, you guys, I mean, to your point, like look at all the banners and all the lighting and the music yeah. and the bands Everything and like all the awesome. things that are coming. Yeah. I, I read so, somebody wrote on some things like Spooky Emperor is a cash gra grab. And I was like, oh, you should see our bills. <laughs> <laughs> you should see that credit card statement at the end of the month when that bill comes due. It ain't pretty. People don't, re people don't realize that things cost money. And yeah. nobody, you know, nobody, you know, wants to give anything away for free, especially at one of these really nice hotels. So, like, yeah, that's what you're paying for. So take advantage of it. Don't just come in, meet a celebrity and leave. Right. You know? Like, go and enjoy the show, you know? Watch, if you like that celebrity, go to his Q&A. Go to their Q&A. Absolutely, and those are, we, we've had no, so we much fun at some of those Q&As. I mean, they're, they're amazing. Top, top moderators, you know, the, the people who host uh, Q&As are like, they do their research and mm -hmm. they do their job and it's just incredible. They're, it's not like you're going to like something that they're unprepared. They're, everybody's, it's a, it's a real, deal you know absolutely and it's i mean it's well organized every day and and the fun part is like the celebs get asked those burning questions that most fans have in the back of their minds anyway because your moderators do their homework and they take the time and they study you know certain absolutely. things of their career so that they ask those questions and it's fun to just kind of sit in the audience and listen whether you're up front or even if you're way in the back it's such a fun experience and a lot of people miss out on those you know yeah yeah, because they forget, oh, I didn't go, I've never went to a Q&A. Well, maybe we should go. Yeah, def <laughs> it absolutely, go and check it out. You know, there's, yeah. so, there's so much more to the show than just meeting one celebrity. Absolutely. But, I mean, the celebrities get the people through the door. But, like, if you love that celebrity, go to the Q&A to yep. watch it, too. You know? Absolutely. It's, it's definitely worth it. And enjoy, enjoy the vendor room. Yeah. Enjoy the different shows like you guys have got, you know, burlesque acts happening as yeah. well. You've got Rocky Horror going on. Like, attend to those things because they're they're all amazing. And, you know, we also have the author, the creative uh, panels and stuff like that. Those, those things are great. And, uh, you know, special effects classes and uh, the fan panels. Some of the fan panels are awesome. They put oh, a lot yeah. of work into that and, you know. And they're just, they're fun. And a lot of the fan, pa especially the fan panels too, because like a lot of those are very interactive and they do a lot of like interactivity with the audience, which is also a great time. Yeah. Also, if, if you don't know some of the guests, do, do your research before. You might become like a huge fan. I, I know, like we have uh, the D Dana, who uh, is like the milkshake from Aquafina Hunger Force. Yes. Dude, that guy is the greatest. When you meet him, he treats you like you're his best friend, and he's just an amazing person to talk to. Um, we got um, this um, one of the, the uh, filmmakers we have there, uh, Fred Owen Ray. Yeah. Um, 
Dude, watch his documentary, man. Once you watch his documentary, you will become a fan overnight, man. His okay. his history of what he did for horror movies in the beginning, like he's the guy like was putting out all these movies on VHS when we were going to the video stores, you know, before oh. Blockbuster, you know. I'll have to see. I'm not familiar with him, so I'll have to I'll have to do some homework yeah, on him. Definitely watch watch his uh, documentary. It it blew me away when I watched it. I was like, okay. and I already knew of him, but I didn't know the impact he had on horror movies. And it's just okay. incredible his background. So. All right. So I've, we've all got homework then, if we're not familiar with him or, or any of the other celebrity guests. You know. It's yeah. always fun to discover new things, whether even, you know, whether it's horror related or not, it's always fun to make that new discovery for that new actor or director, you know, because you yeah. never know, they might be your new favorite. Yeah, d different. Um, you know, it's it's really great, you know, some of the people we have there that, you know, might not be, you know, Freddy Krueger. You know? <laughs> now, speaking of which, just to kind of pop up our little flyer here for the celebs. So there you go. I mean, there's obviously there's way more than what you guys have got on this flyer here. You've got yeah. Robert Kurtzman, who, if you're a Haunting of Hill House fan, he's worked on that. He's worked on Army of Darkness and Evil Dead and From Dust Till Dawn and I Can Go On. And then the Terrifier cast, you've yeah. got, you know, Jason Voorhees and Mike Myers. Like, you literally have a little something for everybody. Mick Foley. Yeah, Mick Foley. <sighs> Amazing. He is phenomenal. Like, we met him a couple of years ago, and he at Spooky, and he's such a sweet, genuinely kind man. Like, it made my day. And uh, the, the girl from Twin Peaks. Yes. I mean, he's been in so much stuff, you know? Yeah, she um, has. You know, from every, everything, anything you watched on television, she was probably in something. <laughs> at one know? point or another, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so. Now you guys also have the car show coming up um, as well. That's going to be in the con in in the convention itself, like inside. Yeah, and then you guys some have some outside. outside. Some outside, some cars inside. You know, the Christine car is coming back. The nice. Ghostbuster car is there. Uh, of course, our sponsored um, rally car um, that uh, Alan drives for us um, is going to be there. That's awesome. I love that you guys have a sponsored rally car, by the way. I didn't realize this until like probably four or five years ago. And I was just like, wait, what happened? We have a shirt. I mean, a lot of people wear the shirt. Yep. We put it out years ago. Oh, yeah. So that's that's where that uh, shirt comes from. So for those of you that bought the shirt that didn't really know about the rally car, it's an actual thing. <laughs> and our, our driver wins all the time. He's always in first place. He's a kick-ass driver. And, uh. He is he is definitely awesome. Yeah. That's for sure. Now you guys, um, along with, you know, putting the show on and how you would do it, aka plan your day, you know, you guys have the schedule already at your fingertips via yeah. the app. So go check that out and kind of pick the things that you really, really want to do and or make grab sure. the program and outline yep. it, you know. Highlight it, whatever you want to do to, to be able to plan your time at Spooky because you want to take advantage of everything that the event has to offer. Yeah. Now, if you were, let's say, hypothetically, how would you, what kind of advice would you give to anyone that's attending the show other than plan your day? Uh, rest before you go. Okay. Um, don't drink too much on Thursday. Now, I, I want to uh, indicate on Thursday. Thursday, um, I think we do put it in the schedule, but Thursday we all meet at the hotel bar. I think it's called Rocks. Okay. And um, everybody meets up at that hotel bar on Thursday, and that's that's the first day that everybody starts getting each other, you know, starting to meet each other and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, a lot of the celebrities show up there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Know, they get a feel they get a couple of drinks and then you could actually get to talk to them and stuff but um yeah like a lot of a lot of the attendees get their room from thursday to sunday because it's it's an event from thursday to sunday um so Absolutely. usually just don't drink too much on thursday pace you yourself know? pace yourself that's <laughs> that's a, a big advice um and uh don't spend all your money all at once <laughs> you know pace yourself with the money too you know like uh you know, we will have ATM machines, so. Um, oh yeah. You know, you, you can you know, keep going back there and stuff like that. But um, enjoy the entire weekend. Like, 
you know, I know a lot of people just come for one day. And if you could only come for one day, just come for the one day. But, like, if you want to really enjoy the – come for the whole weekend from Thursday. Thursday is a really great day to just chill and hang out. And we all meet – I'm, I think it's called Rocks. Okay. It's in the it's in the hotel at the Hyatt Regency. Is it the one? So when you walk into the Hyatt Regency, is it the bar that's to the left that's kind of up the yeah. stairs a little bit? Okay, yeah. it's right there, and they have all the TVs and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, it's a really pr- it's a really pretty bar. It overlooks the pool. It's a very chill area, yeah. very relaxing chill environment. Yeah, there's, lots of, there's lots of seats, and, and it's open all weekend, so you could chill out there too. Oh, you know, nice. If you want to just get away from the craziness, <laughs> you know. Some sometimes you'll see me hiding out there because I just. Need you need a break. Time. You need that mental, yeah. mental yeah, break. Mental break. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was getting asked this question. A lot of people um, tend to ask this quite often is a lot of people expect things that are happening at the October show to happen at the spring show. For example, a lot of people ask about like the special effects classes and they ask about like the film festival, you know, why don't we do them in the spring show? Could you elaborate on the difference between that spring show versus the big show in October? So the the spring show, which is the Wyndham show, um, that, well, just alone, the hotel is a lot smaller. Um, when we put together that show, that show is basically for the fans. Okay. And it, it was dedicated for the fans. And it was more for us just to come together and hang out and meet. And, you know, the vendors could, you know, keep alive and keep making money and stuff like that so that they don't, you know, die out the rest of the year. And uh, also – you know, helps us bring in some celebrities we can't get in October. Okay. That was what the main focus was when we put that show together, was we always wanted uh, Bruce Campbell and Alice Cooper, and we could never get them in October. So we okay. planned the show earlier, and um, that's how that uh, went around. But it is okay. a, it's a different show. It's a, it's a little bit cheaper um, mm-hmm. show to get in. Um, and also... Um, it like i said it was more for the fans um the october show is just an overwhelming you know what it became is this overwhelming event you know it became a monster like the best monster but it became a monster in its own right (laughs) absolutely and and that's and that's what we worked to do we didn't you know we didn't start off being a monster like that i mean but we always had like the film festival we always had uh, you know the Q. Uh, we always still have the Q and A's. Yeah. And stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it, it was just you know a different, and it's also a different vibe. We we wanted to be different. We wanted it to be different, so it's not the same old thing every time you go. You know. Absolutely. You guys, you wanted to keep it kind of fresh in a way and exciting, so that people yeah. had something to look forward to. Yeah, and it's hard. It's hard to keep things fresh because, I mean, we've done stuff so much, and then you know, and then some other people copy what we're doing and stuff like that, and. You know, then it's like the same thing everywhere. You know, you're getting the yeah. same vendors everywhere you go. And, like, we try to keep it fresh, you know? Yeah. And I think yeah. that's big, too, because, like, you know, you guys have some of the best vendor vendors, period. Like, I, I spend so much time in the vendor room, yeah. more than I should. Um, it's yeah. great for the vendors, but not for my wallet. But you guys have some fantastic vendors there, and it's it's definitely yeah, a I mean, huge It's definitely plus. part of, um, you know, the outlook of our show is the vendor room and the tattoo. You know, our tattoo room is, like, amazing. It's a tattoo festival itself. Like, we're close to 200 tattoo artists this year. Wow. Like craziness. The tattoo room is almost, I think it's just as big as the vendor room. I mean... That's great, a little ridiculous, but it's great. It's like greatly yeah. ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, I know we were talking to some folks who were excited about the show, and and a lot of people were very excited for the tattoo convention. So it's it's great to hear and that you got that many artists. They're all incredible. Like yes. some of the artists are so incredible artists. If if you see, I mean, they're like amazing. You know, absolutely. Um, I've got a couple of questions coming in from the chat real quick. Um, one of them asking, have you ever thought of doing a collaboration with NECA for Spooky? Oh, of course. I would love to. It, it, I mean, it, that's, I mean, I, I never say that would never happen. I mean, we did something with Funko, which was, is, I think, that's true. NECA. But, uh, NECA. But, um, yeah, I would love to work with them, man. It, it's just, it's just, putting it all together it it takes over a year to put something like that together 
Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Well, that's the thing is it's, it's time to They're do all like, those oh, things. And, and you want to do something that's, you know, with one of the guests. And sometimes that's not reality because sometimes it takes forever to get the guest to say yes to you. You know? Ah, I gotcha. That... I, I can understand that. And I can appreciate that because we, I mean, Elvira was always easy because we just had such an amazing relationship with Elvira, you yeah. know? So that, that was always an easy thing to do with the Funko. Um, and then I mean, we might've have done it. Th- if it wasn't for COVID and stuff, we might've have done another Funko this year, you know? Oh, that would have been cool. Like perfect place to do it at the higher Regency because there's so much room. Yep. It wouldn't be like crazy, you know? Oh, absolutely. All right, so never say never. It could happen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, we know with you guys, before one show ends, you're planning for the next show because you don't stop working ever, and I don't think yeah. people realize that. So, first of all, everyone realized that Spooky Empire team does not stop working to bring you guys amazing events. What uh, What's coming up next for you guys after the October show? We are going to do another pop-up show in December. <gasps> Um, our Christmas show again, um, and we're gonna try to do it like same way we did it uh, last year. Okay. Um, keep it very simple. Keep it very cheap, you know, so everybody can afford to come. Um, you know, like fifteen dollars to get in, twenty dollars for the weekend. Uh, vendor tables are only two hundred dollars. Oh wow. You know? Yeah, like keep it very simple. You know, maybe only have four guests. You know. Okay. So. Um, but it, it'll be at the Wyndham, and uh, I think it's going to be the second weekend of December. So <gasps> Happy birthday for, weekend to me! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we, um, so it, it's, it's a perfect uh, time of the year to have the show because people want Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. that show is more dedicated to the vendors. That's mm-hmm. that's us, you know, Spooky Ember, thanking the vendors for being there for us, all these, you know, for all the shows and stuff like that. And and being real and being part of the spooky family and stuff like that. So the loyalty of the people that, you know, back us all the time, we want to give back. And um, we, that's how it started the last December one, because, you know, a lot of, you know, vendors needed some money and we were yeah. like, well, let's put this show together. And then the Wyndham kind of needed some money. So we it kind of worked them. out. We're, we're done. And, you know, we, we made a couple of bucks and everything worked out. So, um, it, it was a perfect thing for everybody. And um, if we keep it small and it never, I don't want it to grow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of want to keep it like small, like it was. And um, everybody did so good and it, it's affordable. So yes. like if you go, oh, I've never been able to attend Spooky Emperor. Well, now you can because, you know, it's, it's very affordable. I mean, everybody has 15 bucks. Oh yeah. That's like, that's it, lunch nowadays. Absolutely, yeah. you know, and and you know we, we still have that Wyndham pool where we could all just chill and hang, yeah, and see each other for Christmas. And it's always cool to see everybody in their Santa hats on and uh, all the Krampuses. I yes. love all the Krampuses. Oh, so, those are so much, and that, that's I think why the December show is you know the last December show was amazing. That's why I think I'm looking, I'm definitely looking forward to this December show because you'll have everybody out in their Krampus costumes or their dark elf costumes and all their spooky Christmassy type of time. It's like Halloween at Christmas. It's, it's perfect. But, but it's really Christmassy. It that, is. That's the cool thing about it. Like everybody's got the red and the white and the candy canes and the, yeah. you know, it's very Christmassy with all us dark people. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's, it's like the, the gothy Christmas, if you will. Absolutely. No, that's awesome. Now, for those of you that haven't been or that didn't go to the December show, um, there's no panels or contests or anything like no, that. It's very, it's very basic. Yeah, it's a simple show. And uh, we just want to keep it that way. Yeah, which I, th- I think is a great idea. It's, you know, it's more than affordable, like you said, for the folks who maybe can't afford to come to the big show. It's something smaller that everybody but, can pretty much attend. But you can still get a room at the Wyndham if you want. It's yeah. not like... You know, it's not, you know, if you want to just chill and hang out, the rooms are cheap at that show. Everything's cheap at that show. It's a, it's a very affordable event. Yeah. And it's a great place to score Christmas gifts. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. some cool stuff that you can't find anywhere else and unique items. So it's definitely, I'm very happy that you guys are doing another December show. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I love it. And, and um, I hope all the vendors do too. And I think we're just, we're going to try to just load up the whole window with vendors, you know? 
That's that's an awesome idea. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Now I've got I got one more question from the chat. This is our last question from the chat, and then I have a couple more for you real quickly. Um, asking, would you ever consider a South Florida event in 2023 for the 20th anniversary year? That'd be awesome. Um, I mean, dude, I live here in South Florida, so <laughs> I would love to have a show in South Florida. I wish we could have it at the original hotel. That that's probably not realistic. <laughs> It's definitely a little too small. <laughs> yeah. Even if we had it, I, I mean, I would love to try it. If if that person in the chat room would like to help me do it, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, you know, it, it, it depends on where we can have it, you know? Yeah. If worse comes to worse, we can just do it in my backyard. I have a full <laughs> tiki bar in my backyard. We can... <laughs> That's it. I'm coming over. I'll see you in 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> No, that's awesome. It's, 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 you know, it's an idea throwing that yeah. out there. It was a good suggestion. Years. I can't believe it's been 20 already. Yeah. It feels like yesterday I went to my first spooky with my little sister and we watched some trauma films that may or may not have traumatized her for life. She's welcome for that. <laughs> I remember like the first, the first two shows were so unique that like it was, it was something that was never done before and it was just like something like crazy and everybody was just um everybody was just like and wow that it went as well including me and i had two partners at the time we all just were like in awe to how it all came together and it was just a great thing and i don't know if you were at the the second show but um when we when we showed the trailer for um rob zombie's uh, devil's rejects i was there yeah, Rob, Rob Zombie <laughs> sent it to us, and um, Lionsgate sent it to us that we were the first people to show the trailer. And, uh, dude, the lines went around the block, man. The it was awesome. For, for a movie. And, um, and I, I remember they sent us posters and everything like yep. that. And um, some, some one of the special effects first people that were on the set took pictures and showed us all kinds of crazy pictures from the set, you know? I have one of the posters still oh do you oh yeah still yeah i've got it somewhere it's here in the house somewhere but i do still have it <laughs> if, I, if i remember correctly there was a, a small little pool party at that show i i remember the i remember hanging out with the guys who made the living dead dolls do you remember <gasps> that yes they were at the show and uh we were hanging out at the pool there was someone from room org magazine there Wow, that's, um, yes, I remember that. The girl with red hair. Dude, I can't remember her name. She was one of the, the uh, people that, what was her name? Ivanka. <laughs> Ivanka, that's Gina Yellen. Oh, I, I heard, I figured that was Gina. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, she was there, and uh, it, there was just so many, you know, Gris Grimley, you know. Cool Did... people, very cool people. That second show was uh, such an eye-opening show, and, um, you know. It had a lot of great memories. But Did you it, ever yeah. think that it would evolve into what it is today? I think we wanted it to. I remember me and Blaine, which was one of my partners, we went to um, Dragon Con. And this was when Dragon Con was a lot smaller than it is now. Yeah. And we just, I remember looking out the window and seeing that parade. And me and him looking at it and said, man, I wish we could ever grow to be this, you know? Yeah. And then um, we, I went to um, Chiller in New Jersey, and that was, at the time, was so massive to us. And we were just like, oh, my God, man, this is, I wish Spooky Ember could be like this. And now we are. Not as big as Dragon Con, but. You're, st definitely. you're still a pretty big show. I don't think people realize how big the show is until they actually get there. It's yeah. massive. The October show is pretty, yeah, it's pretty big. Like, there's really not, I mean, I've been to some other events in the past, and I really, there's really nothing that compares to Spooky. Yeah. Between the stuff that goes on at the show, and then the after parties, and just the hanging yeah. out, it's, I've never experienced anything like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, Dr Dragon Con definitely is like, I always feel like we're a closet to Dragon Con, because Dragon Con is such an amazing uh, show, and you know we would always want to be like as big as that one day but we're, we're very like kind of similar to that kind of vibe but uh not as not as big of course <laughs> not yet i mean you never know you never know you never know 
I don't I don't know if I don't know if Orlando would back us like Atlanta backs Dragon Con. I think that's a yeah. lot to do with how why that show is so big and so successful is because of uh, the way that the um, city backs them. The city backs it. Uh, I don't think Orlando would back us like that. You know, so I think Orlando needs to wake up. Just yeah. saying, Orlando, get it together. We've been fighting Orlando. I remember just fighting the hotels, just saying, you know, hey, you have Halloween Horror Nights, and Disney's starting to do this thing. Yep. Why can't why can't the hotels accept what we're doing, you know? And, I mean, they got to make good money off it. I, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> they make plenty. <laughs> Especially when it comes to, like, not even the rooms, but people buying stuff from, like, the little markets and the delis yeah. and the restaurants that they've and got the in there. And oh, the alcohol. Yeah. yeah. You know? So I'm just, just saying. Yeah. It's, yeah, they definitely uh, get their share. <laughs> So, um, real quick, just to remind folks, I did do a walkthrough video for the Hyatt Regency. I've got it linked down below. For those of you that haven't seen it, check it out if you want to get an idea in the lay of the land, um, where, like, the after party is, where all the vendors and everything else is going to be. Check out that video. Great, great info there for you. Um, now you, Mr. Monjali, I have two questions for you, and I ask these of all my guests because it helps me get to know you, and I think it helps our fans get to know you a little bit better as well. So I do need to ask, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Favorite Halloween candy is definitely Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Ah, your chocolate peanut butter man. He's, they're the ones that, like, when my daughter goes trick-or-treating, I'm the one that steals those out of the <laughs> bag. Does she, is she aware of this, or do you wait till she's sleeping and you go in and you just <laughs> snake them all out? <laughs> exactly. Those, oh, yeah. That's a good choice. I do love a good Reese's. My husband is a Reese's fan as well, so I think you guys have that chocolate, peanut butter, kindred spirit thing going on there for sure. <laughs> now, what about horror movie? Do you have a favorite horror film that you enjoy watching? During Halloween or all year round? Oh, we can go both if they're different. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say my favorite horror movie of all time is Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I think it was like one of my first, you know? Yeah kind of like the movie that got me started and it was the movie that got spooky empire started and uh i i i always say that that was like the one that i liked the most but during halloween season i always love to watch halloween 2. it's such an underrated film halloween 2 i always think dick warlock played the best michael myers um he, he's he's the guy that played him the best he's the guy who uh, you know, he played him through the whole movie. He didn't have like stunt doubles and this and that. Right. The first, the first movie, like there was like I don't know, whatever, six or seven people played Michael. You know, Michael Myers yeah. shape. Or whatever. There's so many people that played him in the first movie, including Dick Warlock. Um, yep. But Dick Warlock played him in the second movie. It was just, he just, it was just a great movie. And I think some of the actresses in that movie were, you know, like so much better than the first movie. You know. So I always think of Halloween 2 as something that I love to watch on Halloween night. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I'm a fan of the Halloween series in general. Definitely the first three are some of my favorites. I do enjoy all three of them. But I do find myself watching part two a little bit more than yeah. the others. Which... Yeah, I mean, one, one, one and two are just, I mean, they're both classics. And it's a great movie and everything like that. And three is a separate movie. I love three, too. Um, some of the other ones I really don't like at all. Uh, you <laughs> like, know, like, like the, H2O? The, the Buster Rhymes one. You know? Yeah, it's good uh, for it's good for a laugh or you can make a drinking game out of it. But that's kind of it. I, I hate to say the last Halloween movie was horrible. You didn't like it? I didn't like it at all. It was okay. like almost unwatchable, you know? Okay, like, so oh, are you going to are you going to watch the new one that's coming out? I, I mean, I always watch them. But, like, the guy who played Michael Myers, I just, I, he just, it wasn't for me, man. He wasn't, he wasn't Michael Myers. He's no Dick know? Warlock. He wasn't Dick Warlock. Dick Warlock definitely played the role the best out of all of them. Okay, okay. Well, those are, those are some great answers. And that's good to know that you prefer part two. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to have you hang out for just a second. We've got an event coming up that I wanted to kind of chat about real quick to everybody watching. So don't go anywhere, sir.
Mm-hmm. So this weekend, October 16th and 17th, we are joining forces with our friends at Prometheus Esoterica and Golden Tarot Ink Club. There will be a charity pumpkin patch happening at Prometheus Esoterica. And all of the proceeds from the pumpkin sales are going to go to benefit Back to Nature Wildlife Refuge. Check them out. They're phenomenal. They rehab all types of animals from cute little possums to raccoons to bats to you name it. They really are a great organization. So we're going to be helping them out and hosting this pumpkin patch to go to benefit them. There will also be some raffle prizes. Uh, that you can enter to win so make sure that you come visit us i will also be out there this weekend just kind of hanging out so come say uh come say hello all right Petey. i know you're a busy man i'm gonna let you get back to it so can't Gina's... wait to see everybody was it next weekend ne- already <laughs> next week we're, we're gonna be there thursday we're thursday to monday awesome Sounds good, man. So we'll be there. I'm sure everybody's looking forward to see you. And just really quickly, I want to kind of remind folks of something. I know everybody likes to stop you and say hi at conventions. If they see you speed walking, you usually have to go somewhere. So a wave would be good, correct, in that scenario? (laughs) No, I I love when everybody comes up to me and talks to me and stuff like that. It's great, man. Especially especially at nighttime when I'm drinking. It's always, you could always get a good story out of me. Oh, yeah. Um, (laughs) <laughs> but, uh, you know and i'll tell you how it is i i never i never uh skate around things tell no. me how it is. i think that's what i appreciate probably the most about you is you're just very blunt and matter of fact and you don't skirt around some things. people some people like it some people hate it yeah i guess it's an acquired taste are you an acquired taste is that what that is maybe i guess that's what it is (laughs) all right pd well thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight if um you guys are looking to get tickets or for more information check out www.spookyempire.com make sure you're following on facebook on instagram on twitter for all of the latest and update information um but yeah thank you again pd and uh we'll we'll see you next week All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, boys and girls, keep it spooky. Bye.